So you're starting off your day looking at your favorite YouTube channel, and then you decide, hey, I want to learn how to do Flickr. All you got to do is go to any of your favorite search engines or any of your browsers, click in the URL, and just type in the word Flickr. I've gone here before, so it's going to auto-populate, but I'm going to hit just spacebar, so we'll all see the same thing. So Flickr, just click the first link. So this is the front page of Flickr. Sometimes you'll get a startup screen. So all you have to do, if you've never been here before, just click sign up and enter your information and then choose if you want to save the password or not. I typically always do. Now it's going to say, hey, you need to go to your Gmail account and verify. Pop over to Gmail, click on the email they sent you to verify your account, and just click on confirm my Flickr account. Then it's going to ask you to re-log in. Notice it opened a new Flickr tab. Click OK. Type in your password again. And I always like my computer, if it's my own personal computer, to remember everything. Okay, this is the Flickr screen. Once you've created an account and logged in, you can click on this icon up here and it will tell you the name that is the display name that it's using, which is based off of your email. So essentially you're going to go from here to settings. Here is where you can change your, your name in case you put in your real name and you don't you want to be more anonymous. Here's your display name. If it's for the actual course that you're taking where I'm grading your work, remember to make your display name some derivative of your name. You can still keep your anonymity. Just if it's Jane Doe is your name, make it Jane D21 or J Doe 21. Uh, you kind of get the idea of how you can keep it kind of anonymous, but also give me an indication of what your real name is. Uh, so again, so that when I'm grading, change either of these if you need to, to make yourself feel comfortable or align with the course directives. So I'm going to click on this flicker right here. So you, click on about. So you can write a little bit about yourself, what kind of photography you like to do. You don't have to do any of the showcase stuff for the course. This is more about just showcasing your work to the public. If you click on this icon, which you need to do to load your self-portrait. So just click on it and then you can drag and drop your image to here or you can click browse and navigate to it. I've already got self-portrait image here. It auto loaded. I can resize it, position it to fit. Whenever I like the orientation, just click save. Now I have my self-portrait loaded. I have my, what is my real name here as I've chosen to input it. And here is the display name. So now how do we add images? Click on your photo stream. So it says you have no public photos. So go to camera roll to upload some. So I'm in my photo stream right now looking at it. Come up here to this icon, it says upload. Click it. And again, you can drag and drop or you can choose. I'm just gonna choose and navigate. And once you go to the folder where your images have already been resized to full HD, here's a video here of how to do it. Here's a video here of how to rename multiple images at one single time. Here's a video of three different ways to rename your files. Because currently, these are not named uh, per the project specs. So I'm going to click the first one, shift click to the last one, and click choose. So this is a temporary screen. This allows you to do all of your text editing. For instance, you want to rename your files. I'm going to click inside here. Command A to select all. Rename them to whatever works with your workflow. If you're in one of my courses, I usually say last name, first name, project number, shot number. And what I'm going to do to make my life a little easier is I'm going to copy that. Command C to copy it. And I'm going to click over here. Command V to paste it. Backspace 2. Click here. Command V. Backspace 3. Command here. Command V. Backspace 4. Let me finish these up real quick. Okay, once I've renamed them all to my needs, put in a little description of what you were trying to do and just type into, click on the next description, click on the next description. Once you've done that for all of the photos you're going to upload, click upload 10 photos in the upper right hand corner. So right now it's saying these are public and that's okay. Great, so these images are uploaded and it says this is the public view. So I can add these images to an album individually by clicking on this plus icon. I can create a new album. I can search for old albums. I can also click over to albums and it's like, well, you don't have any albums yet. So you've got to go back to your camera roll to make an album. And you see how these are all public? You can tell by the eyeball, watch. If I click that eyeball, I can change it to private, friends only, family, friends and family. Select public to share with me at least. I'm just going to select all because I want them all to go to an album. That's going to pop up this little dialog box on the very bottom here and just very simply choose add to album. And it's going to say, hey, go search and find the album to add it to. But I have none or I know right away I want it to be in its own new album. So just click create new album. And here, name the album what's appropriate for whatever image group you're uploading. For this example, I'm just going to name it, give a short description of what the album's about. Then click create. 
and click done. So once you've done this part, just go over to albums and there's your album. And you can share these albums with friends or family. If you're in a course, you're actually gonna share the specific album with me. The reason we're putting these images in albums is it simplifies this because your photo stream, right now, there are only 10 images in it, but eventually you might have a thousand images in it and there'd be no order to them except the chronological order that you uploaded them. So again, with albums, it allows you to sort your best. It allows you to share with people so let's go take a look at this album. Remember, you can always hover over the project name or the description if you need to re-edit something and it'll allow you to do that and click done once you're complete. So how do you share this album? There's two ways. You could come and click on this URL bar and copy this really long URL, but a much easier, quicker way to do it. Flickr makes it very simple to share. Just click on the share arrow. This allows you to share the album and it automatically gives you options to share it at four of the most popular social media sites, at least at the time of this recording. It auto selects the shortened URL. So all you have to do is hit command or control C. So it copied that auto highlighted link. This is the link to that exact album. And now you can go post it in an email, post it, in a YouTube comment, you can post it pretty much anywhere. But remember, that's how you get your album link. Hope this has helped. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man! Huh. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> god. Oh my god, I did! This is hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. <laughs>